In this tutorial, we're going to try the arc command. This is the arc command right here. This is the default. Right now, I have it on another arc method. I'm going to go ahead and change it back. This is the way you'll see it at three point arc, three point arc. You can also type in AR or A for arc and press enter, and you are invoking the arc command. But, and you can also type in, of course, arc, A R C. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this, the default, three-point arc, and I'm going to pick, 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 and there's the arc. Now, it would be, you could use this if you had specific points that you wanted to, to connect, and uh, the, the radius didn't matter, but you're going, to be, want to, you're going to want to be a little bit more accurate than that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick arc, look at the command prompt, it says specify start point. One of your options, the only option, is center. I'm going to type in C for center and press enter, and I'm going to pick. Now, I'm going to move in the, up to the left. I could move to the right. I can move down, up, but I'm going to move left. And I'm going to give it a radius of one inch, press enter. And I want you to notice I'm going counterclockwise, and notice that I am creating this is almost like a bowl. I'm creating a bowl. Now what I'm going to try to do, you see that bowl? I'm going to try to create a dome above. Oh, wait a minute. I can't create a dome. I can create a bowl, but not a dome. I'm going to go ahead and finish this bowl. Now, I'm going to select arc again. I'm going to type in C for center again. Press enter. I'm going to pick right here. This time I'm going to move to the right. Give it a one inch radius, press enter. Now watch, I can create the dome, but I cannot create the bowl. So it's opposite. So I'm going to stop it right here. Remember what's happened here, uh, where you can, depending on which way you're moving, it's going to give you a certain, if I, in this particular case above, I went from here to here to the left and I went counterclockwise. Here I went from here to here to the right and I created and I went clockwise. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to mess this up here in just a minute. You see this space? I need an arc right here, a 1.25 arc and I'm going to, I can't do it, I'm not going to do it with this, with the, with the default. I want to click this down, look at all these arcs that you've got all these different styles and I'm going to select start and radius even it shows you how to do it I'm going to pick start and radius here is the start point the end point of the line here is the ending point the other end of the, of the line and then for the radius 1.25 and there is my arc it's like a bowl that's opposite of what I showed you up here but that's the way it works start and radius let me show you what I just did. I picked here, opened with a crossing window, picked again, it selected the arc. All I have to do is pick delete on the keyboard and it's gone. I could have just as easily have come here to the erase command, picked it and picked the arc and erased it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick start and radius again and I'm going to go from right, there's a beginning point, the end point here to left and I'm going to move and it's going to be 1.25 again and now I've got the dome so from left to right gave me the bowl from right to left gave me the dome there are many many other ways one other way is start in direction start in angle all kinds I'm going to start I'm going to try start in direction I'm going to pick here let me do it right about here and I'm going to go here, let's say, two inches. And the direction, I'm going to go straight up. Pick. And there is the arc. Now, for the folks going architectural and civil engineering, you're going to want to know start, center, length. This is because of the chord length that, that you have here. And you also have another one here with a chord length. In civil engineering and in architectural, like in a subdivision, where they show the arcs, like in an intersection, the arcs on the corners, 
those are usually indicated with a chord length so you have to know how to use those what I encourage you to do is to get to know all of these just go one by one by one each one until you kind of familiarize yourself with each one I will tell you you will be using you're not going to use all of these all the time but you will be using certain ones over and over again this is the art command